Guys, it's JD Presents, and I'm here to review a new set. Well, not new, but a newer set. It's set 75207, the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. Ages 6 to 12, has 99 pieces, 4 minifigures, and it'll cost you a whopping $15. This cost $10, it cut like 10 years ago, which I'm still kind of angry about the inflation that's happening. Anyways, that's a separate video. But, yeah, let's look at the minifigures. So, let's start with the Imperial Patrol Troopers, since it's the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. First off, I think they're a really nice and unique minifigure. I love how we've been getting a, lo a lot of new minifigures in LEGO Star Wars. You know, a lot of new trooper variants. I'm a guy who loves um, troopers, uh, and I'm happy about this. So, we can already see in the front that you have a new mold, a uh, head mold. I'll get to the helmet mold later. A lot of great printing on the front. You can see um, some black mixing with the white armor. Um, it's really nice. The um, torso uh, belt area has some white pouches and black pouches on the outside. It's just very nice looking. It's kind of like the newer Stormtrooper helmet mold, but you have this visor on top and um, the helmet for this one, just the, um, the rear breather up here and this helmet up make just make it slightly different than the stormtrooper one and just the black molding on it like over here it's just really nice all around nice back printing torso you know you can see more of the armor but yeah overall really nice and another great thing also is that it's dual molded i believe but yeah just a really nice figure and of course all of them come with the stud shooter Press the button, you lose a stud. That's what I say. But yeah, so next up, we have really, in my opinion, odd inclusion. That is the Death Star Trooper. Now, um, they use the same torso print over here as, I mean, she does as the, um, the, oh, I forgot the name of the minifigure, but he, anyways... Yeah, um, as in the TIE Striker, you know? Yeah. Which is a little angry, because... Oh, yeah, like the flight crew for the TIE, in the TIE Striker set, the Imperial flight crew. Anyways, which gets me a little angry, because, you know, they're very different. I mean, this, the front part does kind of justice. This chest plate for armor, it's not that good. The belt is pretty good, though. Um, I'm going to take off her helmet, but yeah, I kind of like how they put a female in this just so you can have, you know, a lot of diverse, um, troopers, Navy, um, Imperial Navy troopers and Death Star troopers. Cause you know, there were a ton of these from all levels, but yeah, here's the helmet mold, a very nice helmet mold. And here you can get a better look at her face and here's the back part of her face. And now we can see the back torso, the Death Star troopers would not have these. Because these would be for putting the flight sticks in. In Rogue One, we see that. But, you know, she doesn't have flight sticks. So, it's a little disappointing with that one. This guy. I'm going to say some stuff from Solo Star Wars Story. So, click off the video if you haven't seen it yet. This guy is really awesome because... I'm, I'm not going to say it, actually. This guy gives Han Solo the name Solo, I believe. But, yeah. Really nice Imperial Officer. I believe he's a captain from the insignia over here you know we have the standard um security codes code cylinders over here we have a utility imperial utility belt back here just general nice printing this has just normal imperial hat and uh, here's his face it's a nice face you know nice inclusion because i like getting imperial officers in cheap ways like this i think it's nice so yeah, those are the minifigures. Now let's get to the build of this set. Now this is a very nice build. And unlike with the other battle packs, this is actually in the movie. I'll get into the build and, and detail and everything. But I just want to appreciate just the look of this. It's a, The shaping that they got for it is just nice. Over here we have two printed um, one by one tiles. Over here that with the Imperial Insignia on it. Now you get an extra one of these. So you can just make a mock out of this, which is nice. And over here, you can place the minifigure. And it's nice because it's really easy to... You can leave his gun on, but I just don't... To put him on, you know, like that. 
just take them off with only two stud connection. Over here is where you'd control the bike. And then we have two stud shooters. Again, press that. You lose a stud. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. But we have an extra blaster cannon, I guess, which is nice. I would prefer though a bit a bit more symmetrical. So I, I wish there were two of these on it. So I, the Empire is really about symmetry, and I kind of like symmetry in these builds. So that's just what I wish. But you know, oh well, it's still very nice. You have a little bit of greebling on each side, so that's always always very nice. We have the engine detailing back here, and now to in my opinion, one of the really cool parts. This uses a lot of technic. And I'm going to open these flaps. Like they, it doesn't use a lot of pieces at all. The most amount of pieces used were for these wing flaps, but you can just see how nice the shaping was for this. Just use some technic plate, um, technic um pins and holes and stuff to just connect everything together and to get this the side angle shape. I think it's just really amazing. I commend the builder for this. It's just I, I don't know it's just really great so great job to the designer of this set so yeah let's get to what i think so overall it's a very nice battle pack um i wish that they probably would not have had the death star trooper though just because she didn't really belong in the solo movie what would be what would have been probably good was if maybe because we were seeing like stormtroopers with special packs that could have been a nice inclusion to the set maybe one of those but it's one bad figure does not make it a bad set. I mean, I'm really just happy that we only that we got two patrol troopers, you know, and and not like some sets where it was like we were asking for more than one when we we're asking for one generic minifigure and we only got one of those. Ahem. <laughs> First order battle pack. I'm sorry, it was just ah, I just wanted to do that. Cause that set, I'm gonna I'm gonna review it later, but kind of want to pull that out. But yeah, and the pro officer is always a nice inclusion. Always nice to get those, cause you know they're they aren't as common as you may think. But overall, it's nice. I, I mean, if you could find it for about twelve, thirteen dollars at Walmart, I suggest you get it. So straight B on this set. See you guys in the next video.